Welcome back, fitness enthusiasts, to the second part of our workout session. We've had an amazing journey so far, haven't we? We started with some light and easy exercises in part one to get our bodies warmed up and ready. Now, as we move into part two, remember to keep your body warm with some light stretching or a quick jog on the spot. Are you ready to step up the intensity? Get into your workout gear and let's dive in. Scene script. First up, we have jumping lunges. This dynamic exercise is all about power, balance, and coordination. Start by standing tall, then take a step forward with your right foot. Lower your body into a lunge, ensuring your right knee is directly above your right ankle and your left knee hovers just above the ground. Now here's where the fun starts. Push off the ground with both feet, jumping into the air. While you're airborne, switch the position of your feet, landing back into a lunge with your left foot forward. The key to getting the most out of this exercise is maintaining a strong and stable core throughout. This will not only help you balance, but also protect your lower back. You're not racing against the clock here, it's all about control and precision. So aim for three sets of 10 repetitions each, taking a short break in between if needed. Perform three sets of 10 repetitions each. Remember, it's not about speed, but about maintaining correct form. Next, we have push-ups, a classic but effective exercise. This full-body workout engages your chest, shoulders, triceps, and core, promoting upper body strength and stability. Let's break down the proper form. Start in a high plank position, your hands slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Your body should form a straight line from your head to your heels. Now lower your body until your chest nearly touches the floor. As you do this, tuck your elbows close to your body, creating a 45 degree angle with your torso. This is crucial to avoid straining your shoulders. Then push your body back up to the starting position. Remember, it's not about speed. It's about control and maintaining that straight line with your body. Common mistakes to avoid include letting your hips sag or your back arch. This not only lessens the effectiveness of the push-up, but can lead to lower back discomfort. Perform three sets of 10 repetitions each. Don't rush and ensure you maintain the correct form. Finally, we have high knees, a great cardio exercise. This workout is all about getting your heart rate up and maintaining it, so let's dive right in. Start by standing tall with your feet hip width apart. Now drive your right knee towards your chest as high as you can and then quickly place it back on the ground. Follow immediately by driving your left knee towards your chest. Remember to keep your chest lifted and your core engaged throughout the exercise. It's a bit like running on the spot, but with an extra emphasis on bringing those knees high. Aim to get your knees up to hip level, but be sure not to compromise on speed. This is a fast-paced exercise meant to get your blood pumping and calories burning. Perform this exercise for 60 seconds straight. It's all about elevating your heart rate and keeping it there, so focus on that. Keep moving, keep driving those knees, perform for 60 seconds, focus on elevating your heart rate and keep moving. And there you have it, the second part of our workout session. We've pushed our limits with jumping lunges, took it up a notch with push-ups, and then raised the bar with high knees. These exercises are designed to test your strength and endurance to help you get fitter, faster, and stronger. If you've made it this far, give yourself a round of applause. It's not about perfection, it's about progress. And every step you take is a step towards a healthier you. So, well done everyone. This wasn't easy, but it's challenges like these that make us stronger and help us reach our goals. We'd love to hear from you. How did you find the exercises? Which one pushed you the most? What would you like to see in future videos? Your feedback is valuable to us, so don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And if you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? We've got a lot more fitness content coming your way. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we drop a new workout video. Remember, fitness is a journey, not a destination. It's about making small, consistent changes to your lifestyle that add up over time. So keep training, stay healthy, and keep smashing those goals. Until next time, fitness enthusiasts.